presenting the rocket, When Pigs Fly. I think the, the pun is self-explanatory. I thought it'd be kind of funny to grab uh, a 3D printed rocket. My, my dad and I launch rockets uh, up at his lake when it's frozen. And I thought it'd be funny to, to print one for When Pigs Fly. So you can actually say that pigs flew. So uh, it's got a couple of features. Uh, it's very easy to print, zero supports needed. I kind of hacked away a little bit at this pig and changed the overhangs uh, so it can print. You might get a tiny little bit of droopiness, but uh, it should be a successful print. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a reusable rocket. I did not print it to, to work with a parachute, uh, but you'll notice there's a little hole uh, at a an appropriate place and uh, the reason why is the Estes rockets that this work with fire a little charge to pop a parachute but because there's no parachute I didn't want to just like break off the the top of the rocket because it does come with some force so I added a five millimeter hole here on a bit of an angle uh, so uh, to so I figured it was an appropriate area to vent some gas makes it a little funny um, yeah uh, you don't need supports when you print this at all um, let's uh, Go to the layer view. The the one thing you will need to do after you're done printing uh, is I made a little uh, one layer sacrificial support uh, right here. You'll see it supports the ring that stops the motor from going further in. So when you're done printing, just grab something that's you know like a screwdriver or something. Just stab your way through the middle of it. Don't go too close to the edges because then you might wreck this support here. But it should be pretty easy to poke through this uh, one layer. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, and then, yeah, but everything else is uh, basically one to, or I guess two to three perimeters thick, uh, so it more or less prints solid no matter what your infill uh, is. I'd recommend leaving it at 15 just so the, the top doesn't get too lopsided in filling the, the ears. And uh, in terms of will it fly, I don't actually know because the lake... Uh, melted before we had a chance to, to launch it. So if you manage to fly it, please let me know how it goes. Uh, I'd be very curious. And uh, in terms of my aeronautical expertise, there is none. Um, I just figured, you know, this is fairly sloped uh, and aerodynamic on this side and not on that side. So I added this little corkscrew tail to kind of hopefully add a little more drag. And I figured the only way to get something non-symmetrical to fly more or less straight was to get it to corkscrew. So these wings are at a, uh, I think, a three or four degree angle to, uh, in opposite directions to try and get it to start rotating uh, shortly after launch. So it hopefully doesn't come back at you. <laughs> Cork uh, I, I thought it would be, you know, because it's a pig, it would be kind of neat to corkscrew like a, a pigtail uh, up into the sky. So... Uh, if you do let it fly, please let me know how it goes. Uh, it, again, should be an easy print, uh, saying under four hours at you know 20 or 0.2 layer quality, but I feel like you'd get away fine printing it at like a much higher, like point, uh, 0.3 or more um, uh, layer height, uh, and maybe just make a little more detail at the pig. Um, if you launch it, please let me know. Uh, I can't wait to see this thing fly.